What does the Bible say about overcoming the attacks of the enemy? And how does prayer play an important role in spiritual warfare? In this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why you have to be so consistent in prayer if you want to overcome the schemes of the devil in your life. Hey everyone, my name is Mark and this is ApplyGodsWord.com. If you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to tap that subscribe button before this video ends so that you can be a part of what the Lord is doing on this channel every single week. We talk a lot about Christian singleness and relationships and videos like this on what the Bible says regarding important topics. So if this is something that's interesting to you and you want to continue to grow in the Lord with a community of believers on YouTube, again, I would invite you to subscribe. So the first thing I'd like to do is take a look at Ephesians chapter 6 and to uh, notice the link between the importance of defeating the enemy through prayer. Now, spiritual warfare is a huge topic, and this video isn't meant to be an all-encompassing video to hit every single important topic that the Bible says regarding spiritual warfare. So, of course, we have to overcome the devil through Jesus Christ alone. Through Jesus Christ, we're united with him. We are seated with Christ. And because of Jesus, we have victory over the enemy. But the way we apply that in our daily lives happens in specific ways. And most importantly, through the word of God and through prayer. And so again, in this video, I just really want to emphasize prayer um, because here's what it says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. It says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. And then when you uh, go through verses 13 through 17, you see uh, the uh, the full armor of God. We're, we're told about all these important aspects of overcoming the enemy. And I think a lot of people have heard those, which are extremely important. But then if you go to verse 18, once the armor of God section is over, it then specifically says you have to be praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication to that end keep alert with all perseverance making supplication for all the saints so right there you see that within the section on the full armor of god which is often talked about in the church there's also an important verse right in verse 18 that says we have to keep praying if we want to persevere so why is prayer so important Point one is that prayer is so important in overcoming the schemes of the devil is because prayer is really about submitting to God. When you pray, you are saying, I need you, Lord, to uh, show up on my behalf. If you're not praying, it's usually a sign that you're dealing with pride because prayer and humility are always linked together. When you realize that God is ultimately the one who reigns over everything and you realize that you're not strong enough in your own power, well, you're going to be a person of prayer. And again, prayer and humility are always linked linked. And then when you really do a study on spiritual warfare, you'll see that humility and prayer are super important in overcoming the devil. It says this in James chapter 4, starting in verse 6 and then verse 7. It says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So right there, we have uh, submission, we have humility, and then we have a verse that specifically says resist, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So uh, spiritual warfare 101 is submit to God and resist the devil. And prayer is so essential to submitting to God. The second reason that prayer is so essential is because it increases our faith. You have to fan into flame the faith that God has given you. One of the best ways to increase your faith is to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. Here's what it says 
in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. It says, And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. If you want to have faith, you have to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. And obviously, one of the most important ways that we do that is through consistently praying to God. When you go back to Ephesians chapter 6 and you look at verse 16, it says, In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. So again, we need faith to overcome the lies of the devil. And how do you overcome faith? Or how do you increase your faith? As it says in Hebrews 12, we have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. The third way that you can overcome the schemes of the devil in prayer is by praying the word of God. Again, when you go back to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17, it says, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The word of God is the offensive weapon that we've been given in the full armor of God. It makes so much sense that the Bible is crucial to overcome the schemes of the devil because the devil is also called the father of lies. The devil, if you're a Christian, doesn't like possess you and control you and make you do things. But the way the devil can corrupt your life and cause you to miss out on a lot of good that God has for you is by feeding you lies. You believe those lies and then it affects the way that you live your life. So the only way you'll be able to overcome lies is if you really know the truth. And if, if you're a Christian, you know, we know the truth by studying the word of God. But it's not enough just to study the word. You have to pray the word of God, which means you actually pray prayers that are in alignment with the will of God. You don't want to just pray and have a, a subjective experience where you're just saying whatever you want and believing whatever you want because, hey, it's you. Rather, you want your prayers and your connection to God to be rooted in truth. And when uh, you really want to do that, that means you really want to be praying the word of God. When you take the word of God and you combine it with your prayers, that's when you are extremely powerful in the spiritual realm because you are submitting to what God has said and you're relying on the truths of God and not your own truths. In short, you have to pray. I know it sounds so simple and I know it can sound cliche if you've been in the church for a while, you've heard it a million times, but are you doing it? That's the most important part of prayer, actually doing it. When you connect with God, that's when you will live in freedom. If you don't connect with God, you will be taken out by the devil. He will lead you astray. Everywhere you go, there are lies constantly trying to take you off the path that God wants you to have. And the way you overcome that is by connecting with the Lord consistently through an active prayer life. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com. Thanks so much for watching and God bless.